I'm Chris Winston and this is my story. I was watching the England-Brazil match away in Rio, just uh, I think it was a warm-up game, a friendly. Uh, I was watching it with my dad and my mum. I said, uh, uh, first half I was fine, the second half I looked up to my dad and said something's not right and the Brazil players seemed to be blending in the pitch, wearing the yellow kits, green grass, it just seemed to be blending in. Second half, Second half went by, never 20 minutes passed, and then it, like the England players started blending in with the pitch. So I did mention to my dad, and my dad says, calm down, it could be just a migraine or something, so I left that. Woke up the next morning, and my dad did the old optician test where he held the paper up in front of my eyes. Um, tried to get me to read the headlines and I couldn't read it, so I went straight to Birmingham City Hospital. Then they diagnosed this thing we'd never heard of, this lawn. Uh, and just everything just <laughs> fell apart then. It was definitely the lowest I ever felt. It was, it was, it was just, I say it was shock and I felt like I let people down, I don't know why. It's just the way it come across. Um, and I was, I was a very, very happy person before that. Um, and at the time it just wiped everything out and it felt, felt like I had to start all over again. All he, all he wanted to do when he was in the hospital was to get out and get home. Uh, but once he got home, there were times I've, I've come from work for me, for me dinner and he's been sitting in here with the curtains closed, no TV on, no radio, just sitting in the dark. That was before the Albion Foundation. Chris just a, a top lad came to us um, about two, two years ago now um, as a, a visually impaired player. Um, he played at a decent level himself and uh, was just looking for an opportunity to play football. Um, he's really grown, he, he, he was quite shy when he first came to us. Um, his self-esteem took a bit of a knock, uh, obviously we're losing sight, but he's just, it's just developed so much um, and his confidence has come on loads. Thanks to the Albion Foundation, I've really found my feet and I say I've, I've just started a, a paid contract to the Albion Foundation. I play for the blind team, um, and it's probably, it's, I think it's happened for the best now because my dreams come true and I'm working for the Albion. It's a, it's a, it's a great story of how we've helped him, but he's helped himself. You know, he's, uh, he's gone through. I can't imagine to lose his sight at the age of 21 is, I just can't imagine what it must be like. And he's picked himself up. He's so positive. Um, and he's great to have around, he's a great role model for the work we do, so when we're in the special schools working with other kids with visual impairments, they see him, they, 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 they just connect with him and he's, he inspires them, so he's, he's a great addition to our team. It's obviously what the, what the Albion Foundation's all about, it's, uh, it's an inspirational one, you know, you see it, it'd be, as he said himself, it'd be very easy for him just to just to chuck the tile in and, and, and forget about everything. But, you know, he's he's come down here, he's worked hard and the Albion Foundation have obviously helped him along the way. And, you know, he's, you, you look at how he can now go on and help all the other the other people coming in and, and doing the sports. It's a fantastic story and, you know, all credit to him. I'm currently coaching in different schools, coaching different disabilities. So it's not just visually impaired and blind people. It's going across the board, uh, Down syndrome, learning difficulties. Um, I, I do help out in some sessions, but some sessions I do lead as well. Chris has really bounced back and that's really the... the that's really the, the, the measure of the man really, that he, he's took it on the, on the chin, he, he's found something else to, to throw his energies into. And it, I say, he's, he, working with the, with the kids now, we're coming into coming in the schools with us and, and working with, with some of the adults, and he's absolutely thriving in the environment. He's um, his confidence has come back. Come back. He, he speaks to to businesses um, as well as children, and he's got the confidence just just to go there and show what he can do. And I think Chris is very very keen to make a difference. Ah, very very proud. Very proud. The tears are flowing in it, so <laughs> I have to be careful. What I would say to any other 21 year old or anybody else around that age or any age in fact, don't give up, do not give up, there's always a way out, as I've proved, um, I'm now a lot happier than I was before, there's always people around to help you, I've landed very, very 
lucky with the Albion Foundation, but there's always going to be different um, companies or different family or friends to help you out. So don't give up, keep smiling.